Oh, okay, so the time has come for something slightly different. I mean, it is the 2nd of October. We have kicked into Black History Month, and it wouldn't be fair if we didn't kind of do some kind of address to that as well. I think this is a prime moment because we had the wonderful spoken word artist, Carissa Baxter. Carissa, please join me on the stage. I'm standing back, people. Moving up, okay. Okay. I'm going to leave it to Carissa. I don't need to say anything else. Carissa, take your mic. Hi, I'm Carissa Baxter. I'm 14 years old and I'm from South Bend I'm a and I'm a spoken word artist. This is um, for World War One Forgotten Soldiers, it's for, like for Black Forgotten Soldiers. So, in your two minutes of silence, does a face the colour of mine and pop in your head? A short black man on a wall battle still dead, because their pictures were never taught, never made the books you read, because the average World War One historian never said. 1,800,000 black soldiers participated in World War One, but they seem to forget that they helped and the things they done, because they never got to march in the victory march when we all won. So, dear black forgotten soldiers, your story and history, they never told us about your bravery and boldness, forced to fight for a country that being sold us for years, they tried to mold us, but being bold us, we fought despite the words in the past you told us. Black soldiers were written out of World War One history. Because of their ethnicity, like a forgotten delivery, their presence was like a mystery. But did we get bitter? We never got to march in a victory. On remembrance, say no one remembered we fought or were forgotten. Left the years on the ground to rotten. From picking cotton to dying on those very good you used to pick cotton, we got no grave. We got no coffin. Remember for what? Remember for nothing. Thank you. Woo! Oh, quick, 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 quick. So here's my next spoken word, and it is for anxiety and it's mental health. So it's all about that. Why is it so hard to say? Hi, I'm Carissa. I suffer from anxiety. Have a good day. And as your anxiety plays out, you feel the stairs, not just see it. And as your anxiety plays out, you hear the words, then be it. Weird, unsocial, crazy, or unstable. Then they wonder, why is it so hard to talk about? Because you're seen as a puzzle or a problem that needs sorting out. So today, it's mental health, I'm coming out. For the last five years, I've been trying to kick her out. Then she taunts me in my nightmares and comes uninvited to hang out. How do I describe her? She's awkward, but at the same time, she's confident. She's quick to find many insecurities, but finds it hard to find a compliment. I guess it's hard to fight for the right of your own mind when both of you want to be dominant. It's like she's got all my insecurities listed in a document. Then she waits to bring them up when I'm at my worst. Then she pokes and pokes until I burst into tears. We've had this kind of relationship all these years. Because no matter how much I run or cry, no one hears the voices that go on in my mind. Her words that were specifically designed. All this time, doctors still can't find a cure. They just give you meds, and if that's not what they give you more for, it's mental disease that no drugs can plead. But don't stay alone in your struggle. Talk to someone. Let them help clean up your puddle. And don't stop fighting for anxiety to leave. One, two, three. Breathe. Graffiti by Harris um, on Instagram. 